Elohim means God. But according to belief, the name of God is so sacred that it is coded with the letters Y-H-V-H in Tanakh. They did this so that its pronunciation would remain unknown forever. The God worshipped by Christians is Jesus Christ. The name of the God worshipped by Muslims is Allah. Judaism is a monotheistic religion. God is a supreme being who creates and rules everything, and He is eternal. He has no body, no form, no peer, no equal, no partner. And the other name of God, which the Jews hesitate to use, is Tetragrammaton. Christianity is based on the belief called Trinity. Christians believe that Jesus is the Son of God. According to this belief, God has three identities through which He reveals Himself. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Allah, with His special name in Islam, is the all-powerful and all-knowing creator and ruler of the universe. In Islam, the belief that God is one is emphasized. According to Islamic belief, God has no spouse, equal, or partner. He is merciful and all-powerful. Judaism started with Abraham in 2000 BC. It is believed that Christianity began with Jesus in the 30s AD. Islam began with the first revelation in the cave of Hira in 610 AD. The first revelation was sent to Prophet Muhammad. The Holy Book of the Jews is Tanakh and consists of 24 different books. The Holy Book of Christians is the Bible and consists of 73 books. The Holy Book of Muslims is the Quran, and this is only one book. The verses in Tanakh are 23,145 in total. According to Christian belief, the Bible consists of two parts. There are 23,145 verses in the Old Testament and 7,957 verses in the New Testament. This gives a total of 31,102 verses and there are 6,236 verses in total in the Quran. The first commandment in Judaism is that God tells the Israelites not to make idols and worship them. The first commandment of the Bible is to love God with all your being and all your soul. The first commandment of the Quran is to read, because you won't know unless you read it. You can't recognize without knowing. If you can't recognize, you can't love. If you can't love, you cannot serve only God. In Judaism, the first humans are Adam, Lilith who left Adam, and Eve who was created from Adam. In the Bible, the first humans created by God were Adam and Eve. The Quran does not mention the name of the first woman created. It is written as Adam and his wife. Noah sets out at the age of 600. He boards the ship with his wife and children. He lives 350 years after the flood. This part of the books of the Bible is common with the Jews. They believe in the same thing. In the Quran, Noah's stay among his people was 950 years. It is not known at what age he died. His wife was also among those who drowned and died. The Talmud discusses whether the Jesus is the son of Stada or Pandera, and a suggestion is made that the mother Mary committed adultery. In Christianity, Mary is sacred, and she gave birth to Jesus while she was a virgin. Mary is the only woman whose name is mentioned in the Quran. According to the Quran, Mary is a virgin and becomes pregnant by the grace of God. When Jesus was born, he spoke when he was baby and told people that his mother was chaste. According to most Jews, Jesus was crucified and died. However, the Roman governor of that period, Pontius Pilatus, made this happen. According to Christianity, Jesus died on the cross to atone for the sins of humanity. He was resurrected three days later and ascended to the sky until the date of his return. According to the Quran, Jesus was a prophet and was never killed or died, and he was raised up to the sky until the day he comes again. When he comes back, he will be a member of the Islamic religion. According to Judaism, the total number of prophets is equal to the number of Jews coming out of Egypt. There are about 88 prophets featured or mentioned in the Bible. According to Islamic sources, 124,000 or 224,000 prophets lived so far. According to Judaism, the last prophet on earth is Malachi. According to Christianity, the last person sent is Jesus, but in Christianity, he is considered the Son of God. According to Islam, the last prophet sent by God is Muhammad, who is mentioned with different names in the Torah and the Bible. 
Today's Judaism population is 16.1 million, which is 0.2% of the 8 billion worldwide population. Today's Christian population is 2.6 billion, which is 32.5% of the 8 billion worldwide population. Today's Islam population is 1.9 billion, which is 23.75% of the 8 billion worldwide population. Jewish places of worship are called synagogues. Places of worship for Christians are called churches. Places of worship in Islam are called mosques. According to Judaism, Saturday was chosen by God as a day of rest. For Christians, the Mass held on Sunday has special significance. This day is considered the day of the resurrection of Jesus. Prophet Muhammad said about Friday, The most auspicious day on which the sun rises is Friday, because that day Adam was created, he entered heaven that day. Judaism's holy city is Jerusalem. Also, this is considered the homeland of the Jews' ancestors. Jerusalem became holy to Christians because it was holy to Jesus. Mecca is considered the holiest city in Islam, as it is home to Islam's holiest site, Kaaba. Judaism was first seen as a state religion in the First Kingdom of Israel during the reign of Saul in 1047 BC. Armenia was the first nation to adopt Christianity as an official religion in 301 AD. The Rashidun Caliphate, founded after the death of the Islamic prophet Muhammad in 632, was the first state whose official religion was Islam. The Western Wall named Kotel in Jerusalem is a place of worship for Jewish pilgrims. Christians go as pilgrims to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem, where Jesus was crucified. Muslims visit the Holy Kaaba and other holy sites around Mecca as pilgrims. According to Islamic belief, the Kaaba was built by Prophet Abraham and his son Ismael. Yom Kippur is the most sacred holiday of Judaism. Jews repent for existing personal sins by fasting. Christmas, the most celebrated holiday by Christians, is celebrated as the anniversary of the birth of Jesus. Abraham saw in his dream that he was sacrificing his son to God. God did not approve of Ismael as the sacrifice. He sent a sheep to Abraham. According to Judaism, circumcision began with Abraham and was accepted as a sign of the covenant between Jews and God. For this reason, circumcision has been accepted as a religious order for Jews. In Christianity, it is known that Jesus grew up in the Jewish community and was circumcised on the eighth day. But for Christians, circumcision is not a strict religious rule. This is not mandatory in Islam, but everyone is circumcised. The Prophet of Islam ordered circumcision to a newly converted Muslim even if he was 80 years old. In Judaism, the person who calls people to evil is called Ha-Satan. This word means accuser or adversary. The biblical name of the arrogant being who rebelled against God is Lucifer. In Islam, the name of the denier, persistent and arrogant spiritual being who tries to lead people astray is Iblis. Although excessive consumption of alcohol and drunkenness is not encouraged in Judaism, it is not considered a criminal act. Christianity and the Bible accept that alcohol and wine are gifts from God that make life beautiful, but only in moderation. The Quran says, Satan wants to sow enmity and hatred between you through alcohol and gambling, and to prevent you from remembering Allah and praying. You've given up on these now, haven't you? According to Judaism, meat and milk cannot be eaten together because it is forbidden in the holy book to cook the animal baby in its mother's milk. Consuming meat and dairy products at the same time is harmful to health, but there is no such prohibition in Christianity and Islam. In Judaism, it is forbidden to eat pork, rabbit, and camel meat. There is no prohibition in the Bible about eating pork. Pork is forbidden in Islam because it is unhealthy according to Islam. According to Judaism, the place to go for punishment is Gehinnom, called the Valley of Tears. According to the Bible, the place of punishment is the place called Hell, where those thrown there by God are in eternal sorrow. In the Quran, Jahannam is depicted as a place of punishment. This is the place where unbelievers will go and be tortured with fire.
According to Judaism, the place to go for the ultimate reward is the region of Eden, where Adam and Eve lived, or Olam Haba. In the Bible, heaven, the land of lights, is described as the ultimate reward. Islam describes a place beneath which flow rivers of honey, wine, and milk as the ultimate reward for Muslim believers. Thank you for watching my video, and share this with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe.